So hi everyone, my name is Zetter and welcome to another Project Wesker video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get an A rank with Claire in battle mode in Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Unlocking the trophy slash achievement, anything you can do, I can do better. And if this is your first time here, consider subscribing because I post everything that has to do about Resident Evil every single week. And also, I'm actually going to be giving you a play-by-play -play in this video, but just so you guys know, this isn't going to be a perfect run. I'm sure there's tons of people out there that have been that have found other secret ways to get better times, and I've only played this mode for three days to get the trophies. And before that, I actually never played battle mode on PS2 or PS3 when I played Resident Evil Code Veronica X. But right before we do get started, there's a couple of tips I want to mention in case you did know. So the first thing to note is that to get an A rank, you need to beat Claire's battle room in less than six minutes and ten seconds. Also, you won't be needing any health for this one. Another thing to note is that you can't just press start and expect it to actually stay paused. The timer on the top of the screen will continue, which is really weird, but you guys have been warned. Also, another quick tip that I highly recommend is that you guys wear headphones so that you guys can hear when a zombie gets killed, which is super important since this is a time-based game mode. And since this is an old style of game, you know, you won't have the luxury of looking around the corners each time. Another tip is that the path to get to the final boss doesn't change for each of the characters characters in battle modes. Also, the enemies don't change, so it's a good thing to memorize this path. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your crossbow with the explosive darts. There's four zombies in here, so as soon as you turn the corner, shoot that zombie, another one, and there's going to be one more. And then just climb up and move to the next room. Now, as soon as you appear in the next room, you're gonna to wanna to shoot that explosive barrel that's right in front of you. And there's a ton of zombies in front. Now, the only thing you do wanna make sure of in this room is at the end of the room, right before you reach the door, there is a zombie that's always gonna be laying flat there. Make sure that he's dead. And another way you can tell that a zombie is dead is by just seeing if there's a pool of blood. All right, as soon as you move on to the next room, you're gonna be fighting bander snatchers. There's actually three in the room. You wanna get the one on the left first and then shoot the one on the right like I'm doing and then head to where I'm heading to this corner and just shoot and wait and listen until you hear him growl. And then yeah, move on to the next room. The next room, you're gonna actually want to shoot the zombie on the right, and then there's also a zombie on your left. This is where headphones comes in handy. Yeah, there's also that zombie that I killed. And here, in this hall, there's actually two zombies. Alright, as soon as you go to the next room, there's actually going to be a zombie right in front of you, so make sure you hit him as soon as you appear. Alright, head down, there's gonna be zombies here, yeah. Just do what I do, yeah. The only thing that you guys want to make sure of is that you hit those two zombies that are at the end of the room, on the right. Now, as soon as you guys go to the next room, you're actually going to be fighting hunters. So there's actually a hunter straight towards you. And as soon as you hit that one one time, you want to turn and hit the other one. So as you guys can see, a good tip is going to the corner and just aiming down and shooting, since those hunters can jump at you and slice you. But the explosions will actually keep them at a distance. Now in the next room, there's a swiper and a hunter. As soon as you appear, that swiper is going to come at you from the right, so get ready to shoot. Now just a word of caution, sometimes the auto-aim does screw up and that swiper will still get you, and sometimes it is enough to ruin your run. But if everything goes well, then you should be able to hit him and just do what I do, go in the corner and aim down and start shooting both the swiper and the incoming hunter. And that's all of the enemies for this room. Now for the next room, as soon as you appear, you'll want to shoot the zombie that's right in front of you, but keep holding the R1 button and turn slightly towards the explosive barrel to shoot it. Now the reason I mention this is because if you move or you stop aiming and then you aim again, for some reason that explosive barrel is going to blow up and it will hit you. Alright, next room, as soon as you appear, you'll want to shoot that zombie because he does explode. Yeah, and then go down here and shoot the two zombies. There's a zombie on your right, you'll just want to shoot. Yeah, shoot that zombie. There's also a zombie hidden at right there. Yeah, make sure that you hit him. You only have to hit him once. All right, the next room, there's actually six zombies. But there's actually going to be three that are right in front of you. So it's very simple, yeah, very straightforward. Watch this corner though, because that zombie was actually moves really quickly. So you just want to keep an eye out on that corner. Okay, so for the next room, you'll just want to shoot, lock onto the first enemy that you see. Yeah, that guy's dead. Shoot that one. There's one on the left, and there's also going to be one on the right. 
And the final one is right next to the door. All right, for the next room, you just want to shoot straight ahead. There's going to be three zombies in this hallway and an explosive barrel. Now, sometimes, it's kind of weird. Sometimes there's a zombie that does survive that explosion. It's really weird. I don't know why that happens. But yeah, that's just something that I have noticed. Now in the next room, there's two hunters again. As soon as you appear, head down the hall of lockers and shoot that hunter. And as you make your way to the right in this area of the room, make sure that you're in the same position that I'm in so that you can easily shoot the hunter. Now, as you can see, the auto aim does screw up here, but it's okay. This next room has about like six zombies, but as soon as you appear, shoot the zombie that's in front of you. Now you wanna to move to that corner, shoot one, two zombies, and then move up. And it's very important that you shoot those two zombies because if not, they will catch you. They do move really quickly and they can grab you. For this next room, as soon as you appear, you'll wanna auto aim and it's gonna automatically aim towards that explosive barrel. Just shoot it once and wait for the explosion. Give it a second and then move. All right, we're almost to the final boss. This next room, there's around five zombies if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I just want to shoot them. Now the zombie you do want to make sure that's dead is the one on the left. As you can see, he was still alive. Now for this room, there's actually three Bandersnatchers. There's two on the right and one on the left. Now the reason I shoot excessively here is actually because the Bandersnatchers, I think, died at the same time. So if you hear what's happening, you actually can't hear three individual Bandersnatchers dying. It actually happens at the same time. So that actually confused me on this run. Now weird stuff like that is going to happen on your run, so don't worry about it. Now you've reached the final area. As soon as you appear, just start auto-aiming and start shooting like crazy. Don't stop. Now for some weird reason, I don't know why, but since this is an old game, sometimes you might get hit with a little bit of poison, but I have noticed in my other runs for this battle mode that sometimes I don't get hit at all and sometimes I do get hit like twice. It doesn't matter, just keep on shooting and yeah, you should make it. And there you go. So like I stated at the beginning, you are going to need to finish this game mode in less than six minutes and 10 seconds. And also it does have to be less than six minutes and 10 seconds. It can't be six minutes and 10 seconds exactly. Now the final tip I wanna mention is that if you don't get it at first or the fifth try or whatever, just keep trying. It's gonna take you a couple of tries, but I hope that by following this guide, it takes you less time to get that A rank, especially if this is your first time playing these modes, like in my case. But you're definitely going to wanna memorize that route that I showed you because it's not going to change for the other characters. If you don't get it, just keep practicing. Practice makes better. And if this video has helped you, remember to knife that like button. And if you haven't already, consider shooting that subscribe button in the face and remember to punch that notification bell so that you guys never miss a video. Video. And just like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I consistently talk about everything that has to do about Resident Evil every single week where I talk about news, theories, let's plays, reviews, and lore videos. And so if any of those topics interest you, then consider joining the Project Wesker family. Well, thank you so much everybody for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. The right to be a god. That right is now mine.